going on, motorheads? Welcome back to the shop. Today we got a final on the 66 Nova Pro Street that I'm building for the Model Speed Shop race team. All right, let's check this thing out. But first, say hi, bud. What's going on, YouTubes? You ain't seen me in a while. So what's going on? <laughs> what's up, fools? All right. Well, turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Uh, woo, all the little changes I made seemed to, the kit handled it well. Um, I didn't really change much. Uh, I changed that hood scoop one with a more traditional style. Uh, changed the rims and tires. Um, and I added a roll bar. And I think that's the only things I changed. Uh, we used the uh, Krylon Tangerine over Rust-Oleum Gray Primer. I uh, wish I would have had white. Um, it would I think it would have been a lot brighter if I would have used white. Uh, but you live and you learn, and it doesn't look bad. I'm happy with it. It turned out good. And uh, it looks like a drag car. Let's see here, Let's zoom in a little bit. I put my side glass in. We got our category and our number. Our uh, NHRA sticker there. Um, I used a different uh, steering wheel. Uh, I saw something out of my kit box, out of my, uh, my parts box, I don't know. You know, I don't know where it came from. <laughs> Someone asked me where I got these rims from in one of the comments. I was like, man, honestly, I don't remember. I want to say the 63 Corvette, but I, I, I think I'm wrong. But the rear tires came from Grumpy's Nova. I mean, not uh, Grumpy's Nova. <laughs> Grumpy's Vega. And uh, the front tires are just some Goodyear tires. Um, so we painted our bumpers to match the car. Sponsorships are all on the rear glass there. We got our wheelie bars on there. And a little AMT sponsorship down there. Uh, see, what do we got? Um, uh, Morose, not Moroso, uh, Monroe shocks down there on the, on the rocker. And then let's take a look at this engine. We use the engine from the kit. Not to tilt you up. Turned out pretty nice. Uh, I did black racing block. There's no, oh, sorry, there's no fan blade in there. Um, we do got an alternator just to make it easy. Turned out pretty good. I like that. Um, we got some black wash in our grill. Went blue with the headlights. USA 1 there on the bumper. And uh, I flipped the front spindles. And we'll talk about what I did on the rear here. Um, got black wash on our rear panel. And that one wheelie bar wants to keep coming up. Uh, interior is kind of hard to see, uh, of course, because I put the glass in it. Uh, but I did a silver race dash. We got a hearse emblem there. We got a hearse straight back shifter in there. Let's see. It's pretty hard to see. I went gray, uh, like a primer gray on it. And, and the uh, roll bar is a uh, silver. Pretty plain on the uh, on the undercarriage here. I didn't. I just you know. I didn't want to go super high detail on it. It's supposed to be a weekend warrior, you know. Uh, but what I did to the rear is back here on these uh, leaf spring perches here. So those are those have a key and a keyhole in the frame there, right under them. So I just cut that tab off and I flattened out the uh, leaf springs. 
And now that perch sits on the back side of the frame rail there. And just glue it down and you'll get a whole quarter inch drop out of that just doing that. And like I said, for the front, I just flipped the spindles. And uh, that's about it, guys. The hood fits super tight. Oh yeah, I drilled out my carbs. These are the carbs that come with the kit. You know, they're kind of plain. I knew I wasn't going to use any um, breather or velocity stack on it because this is your breather. And uh, you want it feeding right into those barrels. So, uh, but it fits nice and tight and snug. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. So, two thirds of the uh, Model Speed Shop race team is done. Oh, and I did do a little bit on the trailer here. Had a little bit to do. Um, I didn't do my tail lights when I had done the final on this because uh, I just didn't feel like tinkering with it. These don't come with the kit. I just went and found some headlights, painted the inside of them red with a Sharpie, stuck them on there. I changed the uh, tires because the ones that come with this trailer are so janky and poofy and squishy, they won't stay on the rims. Uh, so these came out of the 37 Ford pickup. Uh, most of y'all know that kit comes with two sets of, of tires. And uh, I kept the more knobby dirt looking tires for the kit. And uh, they had these in there. So these look real good on the trailer. I actually set the trailer up where it needed to be. Uh, because once I get the, um, the uh, drop hitch in between the frame rails on that truck, with the old tires, the trailer would have been sitting like that. And now with these new ones, it's sitting exactly where it needs to be. So that's really cool, man. And uh, I guess that's about it for now. Our next mission will be to get on that truck right there. We got a lot of work to do on that thing. There's nothing been done to it yet. So that's it. I hope y'all enjoy it. Y'all be good to each other. See ya!